So we're going to show you how to go ahead and set up the Autodesk Showcase 2013 Augmented Reality plugin. And the first thing that you're going to, want to do before you get started in Showcase is to print out a marker. Now we've gone ahead and provided some markers that already work well for tracking. And you can find those once you install the AR plugin. You can find that in your C, Program Files, Autodesk, AR plugin. And in here we have JPEGs for each marker, which we'll add in Showcase. And next to each JPEG is a corresponding PDF marker. So you can go ahead and print out one of these PDF markers. And then we'll go ahead and get started and show you how to set this up in Showcase. So now that we've opened up Showcase, we've installed our plugin. The first thing you want to do is make sure the plugin installed correctly. And please see the installation documentation regarding that. But if everything went well, you'll see an AR mode menu item up inside of Showcase. So we're going to go ahead and load up a scene. And the first step of this, we're going to show you how to set up your scene to prepare it to work with the Augmented Reality plugin. So once you have a scene loaded, the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure we have the correct environment set. Showcase Autodesk Augmented Reality plugin uh, today only accepts uh, infinite backdrop environments. So if you press the E key, you can bring up your environments menu. And then you'll want to scroll down to where it says infinite background. And you, uh, any of these will work. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose a conference room setting for indoors since we're going to be augmenting some furniture inside. So now that I've selected that environment, I'll let that load up. And so now the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our scene is prepared. And so I'm going to go ahead and press the O key and open up the object organizer. And today, Showcase only works with groups, single grouped objects. So if I have all of these objects I want to augment in my scene, I need to group those together. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of those and go up and create a group. And now I can use this group to associate with a specific marker, which we'll show you next. So now I've got my group set up. I'm going to go up to my AR mode menu and select Marker Setup. And this is the dialog where you can add up to five markers to associate with up to five different groups of objects. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button. And again, you'll find some preset markers in C Program Files Autodesk AR plugin. I'm going to select marker one since that's the marker that I printed. And now that I've selected that, I'm going to go ahead and click on it, which will load that marker into the scene. And the next step is I need to select the group of objects I'd like to associate with that marker, which I've already done. And then I'm going to go back to the AR Marker Setup dialog and click the Choose button and select Add Selection to. And this is now going to associate marker one with that group of objects that I selected over here. So now anytime my web camera sees that marker, it will augment this group of objects into my scene. So a couple other things you can do now that you've added a marker and associated is you can scale things. And essentially, this is literally how the objects will display when the web camera sees that marker. So if I want to make those bigger or smaller or offset them a little bit, I can do that by just changing the size or the offset of this. So for this case, I'll just maybe scale this up a little bit and uh, just to make it a little bit bigger and then maybe move it up. But you can basically do however you'd like. Um, you can offset this and choose to how you'd like this set up when you show it in the plugin. So now that I've associated my markers, got my scene set up, we're ready to run the AR plugin. So to do that, go up to AR mode and select Enable. Now you can also pre-capture video with a marker in the scene and select Capture from File. So that'll actually load a pre-recorded video and you can use that in place of a live webcam. But for this case, we're going to use a live webcam. So I'm going to go ahead and select Enable. That's going to give me a little notice to set up my scene, much like I've just shown you. Go ahead and click OK. And this is now going to load my web camera. And now that it's 
I've got my marker printed out in my scene. If I cover this up here, you can see there's my marker. And once Showcase sees that marker, it's going to augment that group of objects into my scene. Now there's a couple other things you can do to make this look more realistic. So you can pause when you're in AR mode. You can pause the AR mode menu here. And then you can, say, set up the lighting or other things and then re resume that and it will go ahead and continue to play. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and change the lighting a little bit to be a little bit more directly overhead. So I pause the menu. I'll select directional light and shadows. And I'm just going to go ahead and move my light around a little bit so I can get this to be a little bit more accurate and lit. And then I can stop that and continue on. So while you're running in AR mode, you can also do things like look at different material options or other alternative configurations. So if I'd like, um, I've mapped these to some keyboard shortcuts here, but I can actually click on different alternative options and I can view those as well, different material options or object alternatives and so forth. The other thing you can do is print out a larger sized marker, which I've done here on the floor. So I'm going to move this camera here. And now that I see that in my scene, I can actually augment full size objects inside of the real world scene. And again, be able to look at those at different configurations, perspectives, options, materials, and so forth. So that's how you're going to quickly get started with the AR plugin. The last thing I'm going to show you now is now that you've set everything up, I'm going to disable this and show you how to save all of this configuration. So if you'd like to load, and let's say you've set up a certain size and offset, and you'd like to load this at another time, you don't want to have to set this up again, you can go back up to the marker setup dialog, and you can save your configuration. And this will save how you scale the objects and offset them respective to the marker so that you can load that the next time. So that's a high-level view of how to work with the Augmented Reality plugin for Showcase 2013. We hope you find some nice uses for it, and please share your feedback with us on Labs. And stay tuned for more videos in the near future on using the